<laughs> Bam. I greet you in the words of Assalamu alaikum, which be peace and blessings be upon you. And I met you both Jesus and Muhammad's names. Peace be upon them both because they were both messages of truth and reality. And uh, we hold this up. We get ready to go on a journey right now. And I want to have Alderman Virgil Jones, you know, sit the almost a regular on the show. And Michael. Thompson, right, right. you know, who was telephone call and we developed a rapport over the time. So on my radio show that I had six months ago, three months ago, and that's over with though. And I want to thank you for coming on. Well, shalom. 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 Thank shalom. you for inviting me. Okay. And please, before we start, I'm going to say the subject matter. We're going to talk about the FBI, the CIA, and these government agencies. But Tell us something about you. The alderman and commitment of the 15th Ward in the city of Chicago, public school teacher, social worker, mm -hmm. paralegal, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, community organizer since that, seems and Obama. To, okay. since that seems to be a bad train by one of the guys who was trained by Sal Alinsky. Yes, sir. Okay, tell us something about yourself, please. Well, Thank uh, you. <clears throat> There's not much to tell, but uh, my, like you know, like you said, my name is uh, Michael Thompson, and uh, and I'm from the uh, well, uh, I'm from the uh, Stuttgart, Arkansas. That's where I, you know was born at, but I was raised in Chicago. Okay, and this will be seen on the web, so they right. And okay. I also went to uh, Inglewood High School. I came out in '79, okay. you know, and right now I'm just a community, you know, activist, you know, in the community. It's bond upon what the FBI the CIA and the counterintelligence agencies are doing to destabilize the communities and nations of color. They probably not going to like that, though. But why, you know what, it's read that th these organizations infiltrate organizations that are trying to uplift people of color. Whether it's the Nation of Islam or, let me see, Operation Push, the NAACP, CP. What is the mission? Why do they infiltrate these organizations to try to cause disruption and chaos? Well, one, one of the reasons is that, G I mean, J. Edgar Hoover. Okay. J. Edgar, <laughs> yeah, they wore popes, right? J. Edgar Hoover <laughs> said that uh, they could not allow a black messiah to arise from our community. Okay. And they must do everything in their power to prevent that. Uh, Congressman Donnelly, back in the 90s, had a hearing. And his hearing was on COINTEL programs and Operation Frumenten. Okay. Now, Operation Frumenten is a German, German word, not an English word. And what Operation Frumenten said is that we must not allow anyone of any substance to hold or be in any political office. Okay. All right. We must only have people in it that we can control and then we have to get rid of them. Yes, sir. And you can go on your website and look up Operation Fru Menchen, F-R-U-E-H-M-E-N-C-H-E-N. Okay. And you can read about there was an FBI agent who was retired who came and met at the hearing. Okay. And when he met at the hearing, he told them how this had been going on for years. See, I don't have any great love for them, you know, because people sit and talk about them. But if you recall, it was that same group that was fabricating Bureau of Investigation for most of them. Okay. Not all of them. Okay. They told Dr. King that uh, they wanted him to commit suicide. Wow. A man who was nonviolent, hmm. who had never harmed a soul. The only thing he wanted to do was do things nonviolent. See, it's called the COINTEL program, right? That was under the COINTEL program. Okay. And uh, they would send letters, all right? During the time of the, I was an organizer back then, during the time of the Black Panther Party, the Blackstone Rangers, all of them, they okay. would send letters to Jeff Ford and to Fred Hampton. That's what I was going to ask you. That next. never came from either one of them. Okay trying to get them to fight each other okay. and to start a war in this city of Chicago. Okay. 
What's their purpose, man? I well, mean, he expounded on well, it, but can you, well, you can know get what? back on that? You know, yeah, but you know what? It's just like he said, and this is like when uh, Dr. King, you know, uh, J. Edgar Huber said about Dr. King, that he was the most, you know, dangerous man in America. But when you really think about it, what really made him dangerous, you know, was what was coming out of his mouth, you know. And it was what, you know, especially when he spoke out on uh, the Vietnam War and when he started talking about economics and all of that. That's when they started saying that Dr. King was a threat. You know, as long as he was talking about, you know, uh, 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 the civil rights movements and having equal rights and going to the same uh, washrooms or sitting at the same counter, they didn't have no problem with that. But when he spoke out on the Vietnam War yes. and, you know, and started talking about the economic system and, and, the, and the economic pressure and everything, that's when it, he, he became a threat. You know, that's when Dr. King became a threat. And they said that he had to be, you know, well, we got to get rid of him now. In little tricks of sending a letter over here and sending a letter over there saying this organization was against that organization and that organization was against that organization. And why was it so successful? Because you had so many individuals, all right? And they still do it. Mm -hmm. Who were in those organizations who worked for them. Spies. Part right? of the COINTEL program wa was to pay the individuals, all right, to be in those organizations, to infiltrate them, and to help to carry out their program. I thought you always so people always say spies are good, though. Are spies good and you don't know who, who they are, though? Well, <laughs> spies, oh, yeah. spies that, that is true. Spies are good if you know that you got spies. Okay. But, you know, we were so trusting back then, we didn't believe that certain people would be spies, especially in the so-called nonviolent movement. Yeah, the congressman there might be one, but I'm not even going to call his name. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, they used everyone. Okay. Everyone, you know. One, of the day, one day soon, you're going to find out that uh, Chicago Police Department didn't kill Fred Hampton. Okay. No, okay. that myself and some other individuals have been doing some research. And when you find out, when we might even do it on your show, who knows? Okay. And when we expose the true story of how he was already dead when they got there because someone who was an agent of the government killed him before the police came there. Okay. And fired a shot from the room to make it appear that it was him. Okay. And you know when I ask you, why are they, you know what, also the FBI, the CIA, and these counterintelligence agencies will send women at you? How do they know what type of woman you like? What? I'm talking about to get you to drop your defenses and to do something illegal. Well, what, one, of, what, go, go uh, ahead. one go of the things they do is they do a profile on you. All of us sitting here have a profile on us already. I'm going to tell you that so you know that. Okay, they have the idea of watching. Because of the things that you talk about on this show. Okay. So they've got a profile on you. They know what kind of socks you like, what kind of shoes you like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They know what kind of T-shirts you like. They don't know what type of money I like. No, they know ahead. that, too. They know that, too. <laughs> go ahead. And they also know whether you like fat women, skinny women, medium-sized women, all right, or if you like men. They know that, too, all right? And it depends on... When they come to get you, then they'll send those things that are your weakness. You're talking about Mayor K K Kilpatrick of Detroit. Uh, text messages. Do, 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 do. <laughs> well, Clinton didn't get what he got. Okay. I'll just say that. Okay. And he lied, too.